for your attendance. Can I please introduce to you Gary O'Brien, Sonia's father, father-in-law of Detective Leading. Also introduce his son Shane, they will participate in our interview today. I do appreciate your presence at this stage this morning as a result of medical advice the family will take a certain course of action in relation to the life support that Damien is presently on at this stage that will take place sometime later this morning. At this point I'd uh, like to ask Gary if he would like to say a few words and uh, Gary is happy to take some questions. <coughs> I guess my first point of call for you guys today is to um, uh, the media coverage that we've had, um, which created a lot of interest and exposure, I suppose, and uh, most of it has been very favourable towards our family and friends, from our friends, uh, both here in the state and uh, indeed overseas. Um, the support that we've had from the Queensland Police Service um, has been absolutely overwhelming, which uh, words just fail me as far as uh, what, what, what's transpired up until now. Um, having two kids, and Damien was one of my kids, in the, in the police service, uh, you just do not appreciate um, the work they do until something like this actually happens. Uh, most people see the police as the guys who uh, pull you over on the side of the road and um, there's lots of expletives happening, but um, I think their motto to protect and serve, um, Damien, my son-in-law, he. Uh, He's given the ultimate um, sacrifice as far as that goes. Um, he was an absolutely amazing man. Um, he's the father of my two, two of my grandchildren. Um, he's just come back from maternity, maternity leave from uh, them having their first daughter, Grace. <coughs> he, uh, outside of his interests at home and our immediate family, his work was his life. He, um, he dedicated his life to that. Um, the close circuit of friends that he has, particularly at Coomera, uh, we've become friends of many of them. And uh, up until this incident happened, um, the, uh, the family has expanded rapidly and, like I say, we are just overwhelmed with our support. Um, the treatment that Damien's had at the hospital, um, as a paramedic of 30 years, we always hear the, the flat side of the media's uh, responses to ramping, etc., and, and how badly our health system is, but there is absolutely nothing we can say that can uh, give the support to the, particularly the ICU nurses and staffing, have been just absolutely fantastic. That's all I can say. Um, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. If I could just reiterate, uh, Damien personified what a young modern day detective is. He was highly skilled, highly trained, superb, fit athlete. His wife is a police officer. They met whilst they were doing their training at our police academy in 2003. And their relationship has developed from then to two lovely children. Both have served their entire career in the Gold Coast Police District, stationed at Surface Paradise. And Damien, as I said, was a founding detective at the recent Coomera CIB after doing what we call the hard yards in the Gold Coast CIB. Sonia is on maternity leave and um, is attached to our runaway bay general duties police. As I said, they are part of the extended family. And if I could just reiterate what Gary has spoken about and thank everyone from the first responding ambulance officers to the community at Pacific Pines and of course to the wonderful staff at the Gold Coast Hospital, especially the intensive care unit. But I'd also like to give some special thanks to my staff that were the second responders in this incident that provided the instant support and have performed extremely beyond the call of duty in relation to the apprehension of the accused persons in this matter. Later today I will provide you with further comments in relation to the investigation. It's suffice to say 
that our investigation is still underway and um, we await certain processes as the morning will progress. Gary and I are happy to field any questions that you may have. Gary, how would you like Damo remembered? A great father. Uh, just a, a top bloke. He'll do anything for anybody. And uh, I'm just a bit annoyed. He's, he was a carpenter, I think, before he became a police officer. I'm just a bit annoyed that he hasn't uh, built me the barley hut that he was going to. Um, but you just couldn't ask to meet a nicer guy. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we were sitting in front of the television at their place having a beer, and the news was on about all the armed hold-ups, and he made the statement, he said, yes, he says we're going to get the bastards. That hasn't worked out. Any further questions, ladies and gentlemen? Gary, how tough has this whole decision as a family been to, to, to take this decision about Damien's future? Um, it has been a major decision for us, I guess, in my particular own personal situation. I've been sitting here for nearly three days looking at the numbers coming up on the screens of the ICU machinery. Um, being aware of what's transpiring, um, which probably most people in the room except for the nurses haven't been aware of. Um, I know it would be Damien's wish to do so. Um, the injury he sustained uh, was very significant and I've seen quite a few of them over the years um, and it's what he would want and we, I think we got to the point where it's all about what's going to be the best benefit for Damien. That's the decision we made on was on clinical justification and uh, Damien's welfare. Damien and his children are there at the hospital today? They're at the hospital today, yes. And how's Sonia coping today? Um, Hudson wants to see his data. Uh, we explained last night that he would be coming home. <laughs> and uh, Grace is, she's just, she's going to be another wranger like. Hudson and, he, and, and his son, and she's just full of smiles and is not really aware of what's going on. And um, his father's still coming over? His father will arrive tomorrow. Um, his sister arrived from England this morning and is currently with the family at the hospital. And uh, Damien's father arrives from England tomorrow morning. Shane, up there in the ICU, what are those... You yeah. Oh, sorry, mate, I thought you were... Gary, in the ICU there, what have those moments been like with the family and, and Damien there? Are they, I don't know, are you holding hands? Are you? We are. There's a lot of touching going on. Um, Damien's had a corona beer prop beside him for the last two days. Haven't worked out how he hasn't opened the top up. He's let it go warm, but I guess... His Broncos jersey. Broncos jersey, where he come from in England, I guess. Um, Tommy's like good warm beer, so... But no, it's been... The time for the last, particularly the last two days, has been exceptionally special. Um, I guess it's lead in time to the, the ultimate event we're um, about to proceed with today. And um, as my daughter put it, and she has she has had the strength. I don't know where the hell it's come from. Um, as she said, what we see in front of us uh, with the injuries that Damo has, it's not the Damien that we know. Um, his spirit left him several days ago. What we see is just the carrier of that spirit, and uh, and we're probably more prepared now than we were three or four days ago. Unless there's any further questions, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, and we certainly do appreciate um, your support. And um, if you could please um, uh, appreciate the family's privacy in the next few days. Thank you very much. Lots of suggestion that. You are going to donate, donate. No, mate, we're not going to talk about that. Thanks very much.